Okay, I think that I don't know what to do here. Whoever is watching this, just hear this. Super start. Let's sit. Look, this is modern talking. You can win if you want. So it's playing notes in the C major. And okay, let's just save it. Let's save it and uh, overwrite it. Okay, then we're gonna exit style. You can win if you want. Do the sync or start. The, this is the first variation. Look what it's playing. Listen to this again. Okay, so I'm, I'm, this is what I'm doing. I'm recording this because I have to transpose it note by note, right? So I'm going to record this thing. I'm going to record this in a slow tempo like 80 so we can hear better, so we can uh, catch on to it. Okay, now I'm going to just play it back and see if it plays back. Let's just remember this is state. It plays this. That's the first phrase. Just when I go to editing, style creator, press this part, record channel. We're going to hold this. And look what it's playing. So, we're going to step editing and we go one note by one, piano, which is like, let's do the octave.
So it should be one tone, a uh, one tone down. And it, what does it do? Let's change this note to one tone down. And let's save it. Save it, okay? We're gonna save it, overwrite it, and listen to this again. The note after this. It should be one tone down. It should be playing this note right here. It should be playing uh, uh, G. But look what it does. Look which note it played. I just, you saw me changing note by one tone, right? If I transpose it right, actually I tried already every semitone within four, within range of four plus negative four semitone. It still doesn't play it right. Here's the thing. Listen. Notice which note it played. So it played. I think it played F. It's like one, two, three, four semitones instead of one. So it recorded one semitone. You saw me changing that note by two steps, two semitones down. But what it plays is absolutely different thing. So it does play F instead of G. It should play. So it's supposed to play this note. But it plays this note. Let's check it again. Style, record, change the intro, hold it, record, step. Listen. That's one tone. Maybe I'm wrong and I'm going to change it because it's playing. It plays F, okay? But it's not supposed to play F because it's transported into the uh, C major, right? It's not supposed to play F. So why don't we, so change it to G3 and, ch and only, only lower it by the semitone. I'm gonna do it uh, G flat which is going to be G flat or F sharp. Okay, I'm gonna save it, save it, overwrite it. And now let's listen to what it has to say. I mean, to play. Listen. Did you hear that? Listen. So now it plays it plays F sharp. So you think if I needed to play if I needed to play G, I probably should crank it another, you know, transpose it by another semitone, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. I would like to see what happens. Switch here, this part. Now we're going to hold it down here. We're going to do this. We're going to go to step editor and we're going to go one more time. It says F, it says F sharp right here. You see? F sharp. And we said that we wanted to play instead of this note, we wanted to play this, right? We wanted to play G, right? So let's, let's crank it. Let's change it to semi 
tone up. So apparently it changes it to G3. I wonder if it does it because the chord is changing. Let's check. Bum, 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 bum. Playing this one, the chord does not change. It's not supposed to budge. So if it's a plane in major. And we go from uh, minor, A minor to C major. You know? So technically, right now that I cranked it up another half a tone, it's supposed to play the right note, which is. G3, right? It's supposed to play G3. Let's save it and see what it plays. <clears throat> this is the noise comes out of Yamaha. By the way, if I turn off the Yamaha right now, the noise is probably going to be gone, I hope, or maybe not. Okay, it's not from the Yamaha, that's a good thing. I wanted to make sure that it's not, it's coming probably from my, it's coming from this guy, from Moti X. Let's see. Yeah, it's coming, it's <laughs> coming from my Moti X. Anyway, let's turn it off. Okay, so let's try this style. For some reason, two terabyte, two terabyte is taking forever to check, but once it's checked, and let's go to, you can win if you want. You can win. You can win if you want. Number nine, right? Okay, let's try it again. Look what it plays. Did you see that? Remember I cranked it up only half a tone from, from F sharp or G flat to G, but it plays, <laughs> instead of playing G on the same chord that I'm taking, I'm not changing even chords, right? It's not changing the chords. So why is it doing that? supposed to play these notes. You know this song. I don't know what's going on with this Yamaha. Gino's one that did exactly the same thing. And it's not just pertaining to the customization of the existing style. I, it does it even if you create your own style. When you create the intro, there's no way you can make it listen because between apparently for the Yamaha Genos the the distance between this note and this note is like four four semitones okay well write me in the comments to tell me what you think about it folks